All right, all right, all right. We should be live here for a very, very big stream here, guys. Uh, we had a fun stream yesterday, but I think today is going to be an even bigger one here. So we're starting things out. Let's see. I'm going to pull up the comments on my phone. I know I surprised you guys. I'm like 10 minutes early here. So how's it going, everybody? Let's see. How's everybody doing? The latency is uh, normal because um, I like it to be H HD, look very good. So there is going to be a delay between what I'm saying and what you guys are hearing. How's it going, everybody? Be sure to like the stream real quick. We're going to start getting this algorithm going, start getting some people in here. Yesterday, once we hit like 500 plus likes, we were getting a lot of new viewers coming in and helping people out. Today is a big deal, guys. We have... Uh, some pretty bad weather going on today. I'm going to be here off and on. But, uh, yeah, there's a storm hitting Earth right now. No kidding. No, but for real, uh, that actually is a pretty bad sell. Um, where's everybody at? Where's everybody at? Amarillo? Welcome, welcome. You're right in the heart of things. Hopefully we can give you a good stream here. Got chasers? That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, too, myself. I'm uh, just hanging in there. Hey, I'm going to ask you guys a question real quick. Can you hear this listen real quick? Because I have an AC unit, and I want to see if you guys can hear it. Because if you can't, I would love to keep that on to keep myself nice and cool. Because yesterday my room was pushing like 74. Don't want to have that happening again. So I'm going to turn that on in 3, 2, 1. And you probably heard a couple beeps there. But let me know if you can hear anything as far as like a wind or any sort of noise like that. I want to see if that's going to be annoying for you guys. Obviously, I will turn it off. Of course, Reed Timbers are out there. Come on now. Of course, he's out there. This cell right here is actually getting my attention right out of the gates. Um, okay, okay. So, I'm getting a lot of people that say they don't hear anything. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. Alright, guys. I think we're good. You guys are going crazy. Miss Lynn donated $5. Thank you so much. She said, uh, thanks for the live stream. Have a weather migraine, so I'm feeling pressure. Oh, I know that feeling, so I hope you start feeling better there. Um... How's everybody doing? We're at 250 viewers. We're already like way ahead of what we were yesterday. We're on pace to, you know, absolutely destroy last night's stream. I was expecting that, obviously. Let's just break down because we have a few severe thunderstorms going on, but nothing like life-threatening yet, which is good. So we have an opportunity here to talk about some things. One, for one, um... We do have a tornado watch right here, okay? So you can see that these storms are halfway through here. Uh, we can totally tell that this line of storms is kind of along there. Um, and those are pushing this way. So once they push away from this, uh, we're probably going to see an extension of that uh, or, or a new tornado watch for that area I just circled. So we're going to be watching for that. These areas are probably in the clear, but we're not going to say for certain yet. But these areas we're watching very, very closely here. Let's go ahead and talk about also just in general our severe weather threat today. So we have a moderate risk now. When I made this morning's video, don't know why that just happened. When I made this morning's video, we were uh, just at an enhanced risk here. We had this orange region. Uh, but now we have a moderate risk here in this red as well, just to the east of Amarillo. So we're going to be watching that very closely as that is obviously a quite high risk. You can only go one step higher than that. We can get high risks, um, which are very rare. We didn't even have a single one of those last year. The last one we had, I think, was 2019 um, in May. So high risks are very rare. So outside of that, we get moderate risks probably a good four or five times a year on a very active year. Um, so this isn't just your everyday severe weather event. This is a once in a blue moon type severe weather event. We don't get these too often. 
Um, let's see. So let's talk about the individual threats here real quick. Uh, we have our wind risk, which we have a 5% chance within that brown region. And then the yellow region, we have a 10% chance, I believe. Let's see. Or 15% chance. So that's 5 and then 15% chance in the yellows. Uh, same thing here with the hail, except we should have a red region there, but this is glitching out. Uh, but it's the tornado I want to talk about here specifically. Within that green region, we have a 2% chance of tornadoes. Uh, and then within the brown, we have a 10, I believe. Or within the brown, we have a 5. And then we have a 5th... Sorry, we have a 10 here and then this uh, red dot there. I This is messed up. Hold on. Let me try to see if I can fix this. Huh. Okay, well, that doesn't want to work. Whatever. We have a 15% chance of tornadoes within that red circle there that you can hardly visualize. We will be watching for that closely. WSV3 does have some issues. All right. I'm going to be drinking water periodically. I'm going to try to have better endurance with my voice. Um, yesterday, I lasted pretty long yesterday, not going to lie. So, yes, there is a 15% chance of tornadoes. And this cell right here, we're going to watch this closely, but we're seeing right here, it does have a little bit of that V structure. No hook yet, although if it was going to happen, it would occur right there. Uh, but we can see that it does have that V structure, and this is where we get uh, that inflow in there. So this is just typical uh, <laughs> Supercell 101 here. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody's day going? What's the weather like where you're at right now? Let us know. I'm very curious. We have a ton of snowfall going up to the north as well. For these cells, we would probably need to come up here. Let me go ahead and do that actually. We'll, we'll start checking out some of these other ones. Hey, Devin, how's it going? Let's see. All right. Um, 40 and sunny, that's... That's okay. That's pretty nice. Partly cloudy in 50s. That's very nice. That's some of the most perfect weather there is. Let's see if we can turn this back on here. Oh, there we go. Now we're seeing these. Let's put that in motion real quick. All right. Corbin's Weather, how's it going, man? I'm glad you enjoy the streams. I enjoy doing these for you guys. These cells right here, we're going to be watching these as well. Um, not the best look. You don't like to see uh, these purples and blues showing up. We had a lot of that going on yesterday, actually. So we have one, two severe thunderstorm warnings right now, although... You can see that one to the north there, this northernmost one, is probably for like five different cells here. They like to just extend the severe thunderstorm warnings and give it for many, many, many folks. Sixties yesterday, yeah, it was I think it was seventy six here in Virginia yesterday, and now it's uh 53 outside, so we got kind of a downgrade for sure. Yeah, we're, we're going to be watching for those hail cores, actually. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, 
down here especially. Yesterday we saw some massive hail, guys. Some absolutely massive hail. Now we have 1.6, 1.4 inch hail being picked up by the radar. Uh, so that's some pretty large hail being picked up. Uh, so we're going to need to continue to watch that for sure. Um, there we go. This one is rapidly intensifying here on the southern end. If you take a look at that. There's purple showing up. Uh, which northern cell Tyler base? Is that going to be... Let's see. Oh, yeah, up here. That could be some rotation in there, actually. You're right. Um, we'll watch that one closely. That does look like it's actually a little bit concerning there, in my opinion. Uh, Shannon asks what radar I'm using. I'm using WSV3. WSV3, you can search it up. It's a $20 subscription. Uh, very good program here. Earth cell, let's see. That was the one that was, um, where was that? Oh, that was here. Let's see here real quick. We'll take a look at the rotation on this one. See, we're kind of getting some glitchiness in there. Oh, wow, guys. That can't be right, can it? Uh, radar scope. Look, I do highly recommend radar scope, especially for iPhone. Uh, when I'm on the go and I need to, you know, use some of these high-tech tools like uh, dual pool radar information, um, like correlation coefficient, uh, hydrometer classification. Oh yeah, I'm using uh, I'm using radar scope all day. But when I've got my computer out, I'm at home. Uh, I'm working on a video. I'm working on a stream. I'm always going to be using WSV3. That's what you'll always find me using. Uh, Tyler, do you know if um, Fire Ant is going to be here at any point a little later, later on? Let me know. You guys were both very helpful yesterday. If you're interested in being a moderator, the one thing that I ask, because a lot of people always ask, hey, can I be a moderator? I usually reserve it for people that are being helpful in the chat. Uh, and what I mean by helpful is I mean letting me know when there's a cell that looks bad, um, letting me know when they see rotation somewhere, letting me know information they're getting from either Twitter or uh, the official National Weather Service, things like that. So generally being helpful uh, is the way to go about that. Yeah, so we don't have any tornado warnings yet, but some of these do look concerning. Like, coming up here soon, they will be tornadic in a way. Let's see. All right, I'm going to share this real quick to the YouTube channel on my community tab. Of the...
Okay, shared that, so we should start getting more viewers uh, through that as well. That's cool. Uh, if you're just joining us, be sure to like the stream. It really, really does actually help the algorithm suggest this to more people. We want to save as many lives as possible. Just really help get information out uh, in any way possible. So by liking, you can do your part to really just help people get this information. Because uh, you got to think, there's some people that just do not even know uh, this is going on. So there's a new tornado watch we're getting news of from everybody. Yep, there we go. So this 